Hi, my name is Jesse Cruiser. Welcome to the IBA Dosimetry booth for the 55th annual AAPM convention in Indianapolis, Indiana. So one of the main products we're featuring at AAPM this year is Compass 3.0. Compass is a very unique two-in-one solution. It allows you to do calculations and measurements. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that shortly. So Compass is a tool that allows you to do calculations against your TPS. The way we are able to do calculations is we build a specific beam model, which you can see here, for each energy on your specific machine. So this is very specific to your environment. Uh, we simply take raw scan data and from that we are able then to build an actual model that fits your machine and your energies. So once we've built the model, we have the ability then to calculate it against the planning system. So with that particular calculation, we're using a convolution superposition collapse cone algorithm. We're able to import the DICOM file, including the RT plan, RT dose structure file, and the CT data set of the patient. We then take the RT plan file, run it through our dose engine, recompute everything on the patient CT data set. And the wonderful thing about it is we're using an independent beam model for this and a collapse cone algorithm. So Compass has a very unique capability in the sense that it calculates against the TPS. We also have a unique function inside the software and the program that allows us to take a measurement. So we're going to measure dose response, we're going to convert that to fluence, and then we can reconstruct that dose in the patient CT data set as well. So in this case, we could have the left quadrant being the TPS dose, and the right quadrant here, we have a measured fluence and calculation through our collapse cone algorithm. So we have the ability then to compare those two as well. So calculations and reconstructed dose through measurements as well. So inside of Compass software, you have the ability to look at the data in multiple uh, ways. You, could, you can look at the data in this particular configuration. You can see here where the gantry is rotated and the dose has been delivered. You can see the actual patient here, the couch, uh, the CT slices, and then the dose distributions related to each of those slices. Uh, this is just a slightly different view of that, that same plan and delivery. One other specific component in the software is the statistics page where you get detailed information, pass-fail rates related to your prescriptions. In your particular institution, you can create uh, specific um, protocols that relate to the physician desires, uh, specific structural doses, passing rates, things like that. Uh, and in this statistics page, then you can see how the treatment planning system compares to our calculation measurement. In the Compass statistics page, you have the ability to build specific patient protocols. So physician desires um, exact protocols that they want for structures, doses. Um, you can build those protocols and then you can very quickly import them and evaluate the patient uh, results uh, and success related to the expectations of the hospital and the physician. So a few of the new features with the 3.0 release are built-in database for patient files. Uh, the ability to compare reconstructed, calculated, and measured values, and the ability to critique and define your models better, um, changing your Hounsfeld units and tweaking your models. So once you've evaluated your patient, you have the ability to export that plan into the SQL database that's built into Compass. One of the new features with the 3.0 release is the ability to compare the actual TPS data to a reconstructed dose or a recalculated dose. We also have the ability to take a reconstructed dose and compare it to our calculation algorithm. Another new feature with the 3.0 release is the ability to really tweak your models to get them dialed into the treatment planning system. So new capabilities inside the modeling component as well as the ability to import specific Hounsfeld units for your CT. So those are some of the main features for the 3.0 release. Now let me show you how to take measurements and how quickly you can set the system up. Compass measurements are performed by our matrix detector. We simply attach the matrix to the gantry in the gantry mount, and then we are able to measure perpendicular to the beam 360 degrees, uh, measuring the entire patient plan. Thank you for visiting our booth this year. Uh, for more details related to Compass 3.0, contact your local sales representative or visit our website at iba-dosimetry.com.